This video demonstrates how to create a map of the storm path in Tableau. Now that we have our data loaded into Tableau and we are in our worksheet, we can create our storm path map. Recall, Tableau calls the green or blue oval that appears over a measure or dimension a pill. To move a pill onto the canvas, you can do one of three things. You can double click on the pill. I'm going to go ahead and undo that action. We can also take that pill and we can click on it once and drag it onto the canvas. And I'm going to undo that action as well. Or we could take the pill and we could drag it onto the rows or columns. To create our storm path, we have to begin by creating a map. A map requires data that is defined in Tableau as having a geographic role. We will be using the latitude and longitude variables to create our map. Double clicking on the latitude, we'll put the latitude onto our map, and then we will follow that by double clicking on the longitude. At this point, we can see a map that's not terribly exciting. It's a single dot on in the state of Illinois. So we need to change some features about the map in order to get it to look like a storm path. We're going to do that by coming under the Marks menu, and we can see that the automatic or default option for a map is to have the map appear as a circle. We're going to go ahead and change that setting by clicking on the down arrow and then selecting Line. We still don't see anything different as of yet because we need to add a time dimension to our map. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our time dimension we're going to click on that once and we're going to drag it over to our path. Again, we still don't see any change with our map just yet because our time dimension is set as a year. And since this storm happened over a matter of hours, it all would happen within the same year. So what we want to do is we want to then change that default year setting by clicking on the down arrow in the pill. And then we want to change the setting to say exact date. And now we can start to see a storm map. If we want to zoom in further, we can do so by clicking on the plus button in the upper left hand corner of our canvas. And if we want to move around our map, then we would have to go ahead and change our cursor over to a draggable marker by clicking on the four way sign. And then once we do that, we can go ahead and navigate however we please on our map. The next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to name our worksheet now that we're creating our storm path. To do that, we're going to go ahead and right click and then we're going to select the rename option from our menu and we're going to type storm path map. The final thing that we can do is we can decide that we don't exactly like the default display of the map. Now that we have a storm path, we might some, want something with a little bit higher of a color gradient, or we might some, want something that looks like a satellite image. To do that, we would come under the map menu, and we would click once to open up our map menu, and we would select map layers. The background default is called style light. If we want to change that, then we click on the down arrow and we see that we can change it over to normal. We could change it over to dark. We could change it over to a street view, an outdoors view, which we won't see much of a difference on this one, or a satellite view. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave this as a satellite view for now.